Hey everybody, Joey Shattuck with BettingBuck.com. In this video, we're going to go over money line bets. So what I have on the whiteboard behind me here is a betting slip for the first game of the 2019 NFL season with the Green Bay Packers versus the Chicago Bears. So if you bet at an online sports book, this is typically how your most popular bets will be displayed. Uh, these are what are known as your straight bets, your three straight bets. So you see right here you have plus three, minus three. This is what we call the spread. So that's a spread bet. And then in the middle, we're gonna have our money line bet, which is what we're focused on today. And at the end here, we have our total or over under, whatever you prefer to call it. So money line bet, what does it mean? Um, you know, what are the payouts, all that good stuff. The money line bet is essentially a flat out bet on who the winner of the game is going to be. So if you bet on the Green Bay Packers to win on the money line, then as long as the Packers win, you win your bet. If there's a tie, you get your money back. If the Packers lose, you lose your bet. Same thing goes with the Bears there. And explaining it a little bit further on what the odds mean. So the Packers are underdogs in this game against the Bears. Um, the Bears are at home here, which usually the team at the bottom of the bet slip is the home team. So the Bears are the home team here, Packers are the underdogs, so they're plus 145. So what this means is if you bet $100 on the Packers to win the game, you'll win $145. So you bet $100, you win $145, your total payout would be $245. The 100 that you put in plus the 145 that you won, 245. So plus 145, thinking of odds in terms of 100, anything over 100, uh, like plus 100, plus 101, plus 102 is money that you're getting on the dollar. So if it's plus 101 for every $100, you're going to get $101 back. So on the other hand, we have the Chicago Bears at minus 165, which means that you have to bet $165 to receive a $100 payout. So you give the sportsbook $165. The Bears win, the sportsbook hands you back $265, the $165 that you bet plus the $100 payout for a total of $265. So that's pretty much it for money line bets. Like I said, it's just who wins the game straight up. There's nothing else you have to worry about. Um, so plain and simple. And like I said, just remember uh, the team that is, you know, plus over 100 is the underdog and the team that is minus 100 in the negatives is the favorite. And obviously, you bet on the underdogs, you win more money. You bet on the favorites, you have to bet more to win the same amount of money. So moving on to spread betting. Uh, betting against the spread is, you know, the other most common type of bet. Um, you probably heard dozens of times somebody might say, hey, what's the line on the Patriots-Colts game tonight? The line and the spread, same thing, interchangeable. So in this instance, the Packers are plus three and the Bears are minus three. So what this means is if you bet on the spread, you bet on the Packers plus three, then whatever the Packers score, you add three to the total at the end of the game. So if the Bears end up winning 24 to 14, add three to the Packers score, 17, 24, 17, you still lose your bet. But if you bet on the Bears, I'm sorry, if you bet on the Packers and the Bears win 24 to 21, then you add three to 21, 24, 24, now you've tied, that's a push. So you don't lose your money, but you don't get any money. And let's say for some wonky scoring instances or there's some safeties or whatever you might have, the Bears are in 24 to 22. Well, now you're 22 with that three points to 25. 25 is greater than 24. You end up winning the bet, despite the fact that the Packers lost the game. Um, so likewise, on the other end, if you bet on the favorite and you know it's minus how many points, in this case, minus three points, then you want that team to cover the spread, meaning you want them to win by more than three points. And typically the odds for spread bets are gonna be uh, for either side, anywhere between 120 and 100. And that's what this even means right here, is just plus 100, so every dollar you bet, you get a dollar back at these odds. Uh, yeah, so with these bets, you're gonna have, you know, plus 100, minus 120, minus 110, minus 115, minus 105, 
and then likewise on this side, the total of these two odds is usually going to equal uh, minus 20. So in this case, we have 100 and minus 120 for minus 20. And that minus one, you know, that minus 20 is uh, essentially how the sportsbook makes their money. If you have an equal number of bets on both sides, they end up covering their, um, covering themselves there. So last but not least, we have our total bets, often interchangeable for over under. So in this instance, uh, the total is set at 46. So at the conclusion of the game, you take the total score for each team and add it up, and that's your total score. So if you bet on the under in this game, and the final score is 24 to 21, like I said, uh, you have a total score of 45. 45 is under 46, you win your bet. And opposite for the over. So that's pretty much it. Spread, money line, and total bets, they're pretty easy to understand. And um, pretty much all sports books are gonna give you, when, when you enter in how much you wanna bet on your bet slip, before you place the bet, they're gonna show you how much you're gonna win. So if you don't quite understand the odds, uh, you can always put in how much you wanna bet and see what the payout is. And then if you don't like that, you know, maybe you wanna find a different bet. Or if you're comfortable with it, go ahead and make that bet. So thanks for watching. Um, feel free to check out bettingbuck.com, bettingbuck, B-U-C-K, for sportsbook reviews. Um, and yeah, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, talk to you soon.